Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. He's wearing a jacket this morning. Yes, he is, because it's 20 degrees colder out here this morning than it was yesterday morning. 43 in Montgomery right now, 44 in Troy. It's 41 in Prattville and Selma, and tomorrow morning could be colder. We're talking about maybe frost the next couple of mornings. We'll talk about some stuff about frost you may not know. We'll look ahead. Will that storm system next week be severe? Take another sip of coffee. Strap yourself in. Here we go. You see that high in Oklahoma? Yeah, that's the uh, high that's going to be in control of our weather this weekend, circulating the cool air. In fact, uh, the coldest air is still out in the Rockies where they had some snow this week, but the cool air is working its way southward all the way to the Gulf Coast, even into Florida right now. So breezy and cool today with uh, north winds and a high temperature probably in the 60s. Look at the snow in the lee shore of the Great Lakes. Wow, how about that for a sign of the season? Big cold high over Nashville Saturday morning means uh, temperatures will be a little frosty in Alabama, especially North Alabama. Football weather. We're talking about it'll feel like football in Auburn. Starts off in the 50s, ends up in the low 60s. Look at Starkville with temperatures, uh, you know, pretty cool. I think by the end of the game, temperatures will start to really fall in Starkville, but sunny and cool. A chilly start on Sunday. We're talking about temperatures which will be uh, down to about 35 degrees, maybe as far south as Troy, 37 Montgomery, 34 around Alexander City. Look at Huntsville, down to 29, so a very frosty start up there. We're talking about clear, cool northwest winds at 5 to 15 for the uh, Hunters today with a high around 65, and then 63 is your high on Saturday. Look at the, the upper 30s on Saturday and Sunday morning. How could there be frost on the ground, Rich, if temperatures are only in the upper 30s? I usually get this question about once a year. I haven't gotten it this year because nobody's asked yet, but I'm beating you to the punch. Now, I'm about 5'11". That's about 2 meters tall. 2 meters. That's the official temperature is taken at 2 meters, okay, up here at this level. At this level, it could be 37 or 38 degrees, but the coldest air during a cold, clear night sinks way down to the, towards the ground. So on the ground, it could be closer to 32 degrees, and that's why you can have frost when the official temperature is in the upper 30s. All right, let's jump ahead next week and look at this developing storm system. We're dry Monday, nice, high around 70. But look at the rain out to the west of us. Big storm developing in the Rocky Mountains. Another blizzard developing there. This is the start of a severe weather look, perhaps. You see that negative tilt in the business. We think, we think that's uh, associated with severe weather in portions of the southern plains. Then on Wednesday, there could be some severe weather portions of Louisiana. I think we could see some scattered showers by Wednesday. But all the big stuff still out to the west of us until perhaps Thursday night. This is the GFS saying Thursday night would be the big night for the showers and storms. Will it be severe here? We don't know yet. It's too early to say. The European certainly suggests that the storms could be strong, and they agree, the European agrees on Thursday night as well. So we'll be watching this very closely over the next few days. How much rainfall? Well, we could see parts of, of, of Alabama getting two inches, maybe some parts of Alabama getting three inches of rain, another significant rainfall event. And look what these big rainfall events since Halloween have done to the drought monitor map. It has wiped out the drought in Alabama, at least in our area, uh, and that's going to continue as we get into this El Nino winter with low pressure across the southeastern U.S. during an El Nino and a strong subtropical jet. That promotes a lot of rainfall during El Nino, so it looks like uh, drought will not be a problem for the next few months. Finally, a look at your 16-day temperature trend, and that's been very popular here on these videos. The temperatures bottom out on Saturday and Sunday morning in the upper 30s, and I think we get into the 70s next week, despite the fact that GFS is printing uh, 60s, but I think 70s look good, and then uh, cooler again the following week. No weather video tomorrow. It's Saturday. There'll be some weather posts somewhere along the way, though. And your next complete video online by mid-morning on Sunday. And we'll start focusing in on that storm system next week that could bring some strong, possibly severe weather to the state. I hope you enjoy this great fall weather this weekend. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Rich Thomas Weather.